Oh. All right. Hello, everybody. It's Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. Give me a minute here. Maybe. He's still playing with our chat. Yeah. So how's everybody been today? We've had a cool, a That's cool good. day. A very cool day. Nice day. Our first really good Our, fall day. Yeah, first fall day. The wind's been blowing. The um. Get this over here out of the way. What do you say? The wind's been blowing. The temperatures is what? Maybe in the 60s, high 60s? Well, let's put it out this way. It was warmer this morning when we got up than it was at dinner. So... It, uh, the temperature dropped all day long until dinner time, and then from dinner time till about 4, it rose up to about 73 degrees, I think, and then it's dropping back. It's already like 65 now, so it's going... It's nice. Yeah, it's nice, and the wind's blowing. In the high tunnels, we didn't have to do anything with. No. I didn't even open the doors, which uh, I don't need a lot of pollination right now because we're kind of down in stuff in mine. Hey, Jen. Uh, you really need... Um, Mr. John, good evening. Um, with the cherry trees, you might have, I should have opened yours, I guess, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't think about it. Yeah. Um, That's the problem with high tunnels. You have to be so particular every day oh, uh, to let... Guys, he, got, I'm sorry. He took a nap. I took a nap right before. I have been busting it since daylight this morning. And uh, trash is... The wind's been blowing today. Trash has got all in my eyes, so... Um, Everybody's saying the weather was amazing. The weather has been amazing today. It's been really, really good. I mean, probably, I told Wanda, was it earlier this morning, I told you, I said, this is probably our best weather we've had since, uh, probably all year. Yeah. I mean, it's been really nice. Yeah, everybody, if y'all would hit the like button, the ones of you that are on YouTube, hit the yeah. like button and comment and comment and comment because that helps us. I don't know. Um, somebody it said puts that, you in a different algorithm. Yeah. Uh, with YouTube promotes you if you hit the like button, and that's one reason we like. And two, if you comment, if we get plenty mm -hmm. of comments, it kind of helps a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and when it's over, if you come back in again and at least leave a comment. Yeah. And comment under others. If you see somebody asked a question and you know the answer, go for it. But don't get yeah. in an argument. You know, we'll just take down arguments. <laughs> yeah, well, we do that. Yeah. But yeah, in the morning here is supposed to be at the house here is supposed to be like I think they said 44 or 45 degrees here. So and it's going to stay in the 40s for like three or four days, and then it's going to warm back up a little bit for to like 60, and then it's going to drop even lower next week. So man, we're excited about that. But the only drawback to that is we have peas in the garden. And those peas, we got little peas on them about this long now. I'm going to show them my peas. And, oh, okay. Show them yours first. This is Ms. Wanda's Red Rippers out of her high tunnel. That's them in the background right there. I picked these today and shelled them. And uh, I know that didn't, doesn't look like many, but there's twice that hanging on the tree, on the vines. And y'all, all I have is one little section of peas. Danny has a field. I have a peas. field. But you know, there's... Wanda and I were talking about this this morning when we were in the high tunnel. With what we grow in the high tunnel and one little section that we pick out here in the edge of the garden here that might be, what, 15 feet long or something like that? We we eat off of those. That's all the peas we have right now. That's all we have coming in, and we've been eating off of them several I've times. probably at least twice a week cook peas that I picked and shelled off of the little bitty bit in my high tunnel and the little bit because the deer ate them outside. And we probably have 15 plants maybe outside. Maybe have 15 plants and, outside, um, yeah. And I've got like three or four quarts put up in the freezer. And we've been eating out of them for a month. So th I think that's pretty good that we've eaten at least two to three meals a week. Plus I've got three or four quarts put up. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And if the Red Rippers do, gosh, y'all, somebody better be wanting some seed if they turn the seed. Um, I was noticing someone there was saying that they, that YouTube can cancel you anytime they want to. Yeah, because they're a private on channel. And that you can, uh, they was going over to Rumble. 
Uh, Rumble is under scrutiny just like everybody else. Don't be fooled by that. I've already got information that Rumble's being watched and that um, they can pop them down just as fast as they did Parlor or any of the others. Um, Thank you, Larry. Yes, yes Larry. Yes, I got my coffee. I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee right now, but I made some Southern Pecan coffee. One of my subscribers had sent me some Southern Pecan coffee, and y'all, it is simply amazing. Uh, Jen said, I almost built a fire tonight. I am my father's daughter. You, <laughs> probably tomorrow night, you probably will, because it'll be a little <laughs> bit cooler than tomorrow night. Danny was night. throwing a fit this morning because the wind <laughs> was blowing. He wants to burn that uh, unit that's in our... Um, what do you call it? We have a blower unit we put in our yeah. fireplace at the cabin, and it has to be burnt off before you actually use it because it gives off a, uh, a scent from the oil that's in it. And I wanted to do it outside because of all the regulations that come with it. it said don't have anybody with breathing problems in, no birds, no pets, all this kind of stuff. I told one day, I said, well, I'll just burn it off outside, but we haven't had any weather to burn anything off of it, you know, so... Um, I guess I'll have to take it out of the fireplace and just build a regular fire in the fireplace tomorrow if we have to. Yeah. Well, the one reason Danny and I don't go to too many platforms, we, we are on Patreon, which means he has to do a video for there, and yeah. he doesn't always get one done every week, and I have to fuss at him. She has to fuss at me. And I and, did uh, do one this week, and I spilled my guts on yeah. several things. Uh, hopefully it won't get us in trouble. I talked about uh, this right here. And uh, the, weather. the weather and what's going on with this right here and why we have this right here and what it's going to do to you and all this kind of stuff. Uh, what's in it, all that kind of stuff. I talked about that over on Patreon and, um, and uh, you know, and, and people seem to be loving it over there. But I can't talk about it on YouTube, you know. And he, he doesn't talk all the time. Thank you, what Gerhard. Yeah, thank you. Yes, the peas are heirloom. Um, yes, they, they are an heirloom. It's yeah. red rippers. As a matter of fact, if these in the field get growing good, we'll have PCs for sale. But I don't know if it's turning as cool as it is. But, you know, we we do Patreon, which means I, I put something up. And I try to do, like, when we have something special, I let Patreon know first. All our patrons know ahead of time before Deep South on YouTube knows it. But I don't always do that. I try to not forget it. But we have so much going on. And then, Danny, we started the podcast. So now the podcast is going. And he missed this Monday doing yeah, a podcast. Yeah, I didn't get a podcast this Monday. Because, guys, I'm going to be honest with We've you. We've been busting it. I, well, I explained that in the video over on Patreon. I talk about why I haven't been putting up a lot of videos. Uh, He's been going crazy. I've been going crazy, like 90 to nothing. Okay, let me give you a little hint of some of his day. And this is every day he bounces back and forth. He's either working... For a few minutes on the high tunnel, we've got the third high tunnel that he's still got to go on. Mm -hmm. He goes over to the cabin. He works there a little while. He works on his tractor a little while. He runs through the greenhouse and does some stuff. He heads over to the garden and does stuff. He comes back to the house. Like today, he even worked on the chicken building. Well, I needed some light, so he worked on that a little while. And then he's in here sitting down answering and questions and stuff like that. Then he's back to the cows. And I mean, pigs. pigs back and forth all day. In the long. shop, I had to sand and paint some more tractor parts. Uh, I sanded and painted tractor parts this morning before the sun ever came up. And he's <laughs> been doing that for like two weeks or better. Yeah. Maybe three, but at least two weeks. And so he's got all these projects going and we're trying, and he's been painting on the cabin some. And oh, y'all, I am so proud. This is This is like pride and joy for me right here. Y'all look at that. Does anybody notice a difference? Other than the paint is paint is painted, but I love Jack's home improvement better than any other business I guess in town. <laughs> There's one of my favorites. I love Alexander's too. Yeah. And Jack's plant and patio. But I have seen the blue Jacks around the top of that for what, two and a half years? Two and a half years, yeah. And I kept telling him every time, I said, we, you really need to get the trim up. And he kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And when he painted all these walls, he went over there yesterday and put the trim up. And now, I'm sorry, Jax, I really appreciate it, Jeffrey, but I don't see the blue <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's, it's actually finished. I, uh, 
I actually finished the whole porch today. I, I painted and put all the trim up on the porch and everything today. And I mean, it just, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. When he finishes things like that, it's just, he does such a good job. Yeah. It, uh, um, somebody said, why did you choose to use a propane water heater versus an electric you could run on solar? Because it would take such a large solar system. Well, let me, I'll take that back. A solar water heater system is like four to five thousand dollars. I've already installed them in other people's houses, and um, that's why I didn't want to spend four to five thousand. All I spent on this one was about three hundred dollars. Time I bought the heater, the tank, and put the gas in it, I think I spent like three hundred something dollars. Maybe four at the most. Maybe four at the most versus four thousand dollars. Yeah, that that's a and right now propane propane's plentiful. Should we ever get where we can't get propane? I, I know how to do a batch system uh, as far as for hot water. I can create my own solar hot water without any electricity and using a PV pump with a solar panel if I have to. I'm very familiar with all that stuff because I've installed it in people's houses before. So it's not, uh, it's not a problem. Cindy, no, we did not. That's the wall where the bathroom is and the front door. Uh, when you turn around and look the opposite way, you see the front porch and the side porch. So we didn't close it. I was just showing no. you the wall where the bathroom is. And that he had finished the trim at the top is what I was talking about. Because Jacks had been around the top of it, uh, just a strip about yay big for two and a half years. Did we ever contact Blue 80 about getting our free DC charging enhancer that will enable the AC... 200p to add more charging and battery storage capacities. No, we didn't. As a matter of fact, right now our AC 200p is giving us problems. We're getting a lot of error codes on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, here they are, right here. Those are all. That's just one page. We have 55 error codes on showing up one on thing. that one uh, uh, power station, and we're working with the company trying to figure out what's going wrong with it. Yeah. And plus, our our 1,500-watt Blue Eddy has just quit working completely. It won't take an AC charge or a DC charge. So we're trying to figure out what's wrong with it, too. And they're trying to help us. Hopefully, they are. I said They sent a message and asked what was wrong so they could figure it out. When is the best time to buy and plant muscadine grapes? Uh, probably any time after mid-November to about March. Um, anytime in that time frame right in there, you can plant them and you shouldn't have any problem. Yeah. Okay. So the only other thing we hadn't talked about has been our big, now people on Patreon already know this. Yeah. People on Patreon know they about it. They already know it. And the video is coming up Monday, but we're going to give you a sneak preview of. This is our latest addition to the farm here. This is our grandbaby. This is our, it's what we call the grandbaby calf. Uh, Dolly had a calf several years ago named Candy. Candy has grown up now and had a calf. And this one's name is Brownie. This is just a little male calf. Uh, he is another Dexter Jersey cross. I'm not sure what we're going to do with him yet. Uh, if somebody wanted him, we would sell him. But we already have one Dexter Jersey cross right now that we can't seem to get rid of. So I don't know what his outcome is going to be just yet. And the reason we say that is we only have 10 acres of land. Yeah. And we, uh, and we have a house and a barn and we have gardens and we have greenhouses and things. So we don't even use all that 10 acres for cows. So it's a he. It's brownie as a he. Yeah. And uh, so we don't use all of it for cows, but we use a lot of it for cows. But we already have a herd that is to our capacity. We don't want to overextend our capacity. So any of the cows born from this point on will be up for sale unless Danny takes a notion to keep one on occasion. But we think we've, ha we've got as many as we need. Yeah, how's the beef on a Dexter jersey? It's fantastic. I mean, uh, they make fantastic little beef cows. I mean, that, they just don't get like a huge cow. Yeah, they don't get real big. They, I mean, 42 inches to 
47 inches is about as tall as they get. But now he's got some jersey in him, so it's possible that he might get taller. Yeah. And a little bit bigger. Yeah. We have a Dexter Jersey Cross. We bought her. She was our first cow that we bought from 70 Farms here in Mississippi. She lives in, um, I don't even remember where. Coldwater. Yeah, Coldwater. And so we got Dolly from her, and it was a Dexter Jersey Cross. And then later we got Dixie and Daisy, which are just Dexter cows. We already had Dexter, which is a bull. We got him first, actually. And since then, we've just been adding. Yeah. We got babies. Stephen Shoemaker says, how much cows? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How many do we have? Is that what he's asking? Or I, I don't know if he wants to know how much we want for the cows or, or what. Um, have to... We've got a Dexter Jersey cross bull right now that's about a year old. Uh, he's, he likes a month being a year old, don't he? Yeah, I would take $500 for him. Uh, but, you know, a, a calf, a, a heifer would be more um, naturally. Jennifer, we did have that big satsuma tree, but a freeze killed it several years ago, so we do not have satsumas no. right now. It, it was producing several hundred at a time, but we lost that one. Uh, Country Homestead Preacher says, Danny, where do you buy all your fruit trees? We get them from... Uh, Grower Solutions. Uh, of course, now we was getting some from Gurney's, but Gurney's, I've heard, is out of fruit trees on a lot of them this year. Um, we bought a lot of them local right here. R.H. Shumway. Um, Shumway or whatever. Yeah, R.H. Shumway, however you say that. I think it's S-H-U-M-W-A-Y. I don't think it's got an R in it. I don't remember. We ordered from them, and we've been happy with some of the, their trees. Um, we got the pear trees from, we had a subscriber sent to pear trees. Yeah, but it came from, they came from, uh, that new thing you used to see on TV a lot. Uh, yeah, I know. And I know no, we saw it on the internet, not on TV. We yeah, saw it on the internet. I know the jingle, the little jingle thing. And I, it, I just can't remember. But anyway, we got it fast growing trees. In that yeah, day. I think it's fast growing trees. I think that. And, uh, so we have. Three of those that are doing really well, the pear trees. Yeah, um, yeah, Dexter jerseys are a good dual purpose milk or meat. Um, uh, our Dexter Jersey cows uh, are fantastic cows. I mean, they really do good. They they milk good. They uh, you know they they just they're just easy birthing and stuff like that. Uh, what age do we butcher them? We like to butcher them. Uh, around 12 months if we can to 15 months. That's uh, usually about the time that um, we try to uh, to met, uh, butcher one if we're going to butcher it. The bass, in, hold on, the bass on the cub video are spawning. Yeah, we have, a, that they are. We have lots of bass in our pond now. Um, when do you think you will be able to get back to work on the high tunnel better yet when do you think the weather will allow it i'm working on the high tunnel now i mean the weather's perfect right now i did just one of me and i only have i can only spend a small amount of time each day on each project because i have so many projects going on and as if it's not enough we have two more major ones coming up uh by the end of the year so i'm having to get ready for them and uh plus i've got uh, we, did we talk about on Patreon about the stonework or? Yeah, but it didn't come. No, it was on the video here, our tour. Yeah, it was on the tour, but on Patreon, on the video I did on Patreon, yeah, I, talked, you talked, about I the, talked about how I had to spend for two weeks screaming at people over the telephone. The so. first one was your delivery on the tractor parts. Yeah. He got so aggravated because they were supposed to be here and... The company, it said on the little thing when we put the tracking number in, it said it would be delivered today. So around 10 o'clock, he calls because we have to meet him up at the road. And he calls him and he said, look, I never did get a phone call. Where is my stuff? And they're going, uh, um, well, it's going to be tomorrow. And we go, no, it said on there it's going to be today. Well, he's kind of backed up. He's not going to get to y'all today. And Danny says, well... I will be here all night. 
And so the guy come driving up at what, 8 o'clock? At 8 o'clock at night, he come driving <laughs> up out here. I told him, I says, I Daddy want that cooked. thing today. Yeah. I threw a fit. I said, I but want it, it today. it was Friday afternoon, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was on Friday. I said, I don't care if he has to come at midnight. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then with the stone, I looked. The company had sent the tracking number and said it'll be there, you know, according to the the FedEx ground, no, FedEx Express or whatever, FedEx, what do they call it, FedEx Freight. FedEx Freight. It was coming FedEx Freight. And so I went, two days after I got the number, went and checked, and it says, uh, look, it's out for delivery, but it should be there by, by the end of the day. Okay, we screenshot that. That's what it said. We waited mm -hmm. all day long. It didn't come. We were hot. So I went in late that evening and looked, and it said, out for delivery. And Danny says, it's 8 o'clock. They ain't delivering today. So we waited till the next morning, looked again, and it said, pending. So Danny calls him, and he says, hey, look, what's going on? And the guy says, oh, well, we, we haven't gotten it yet. And he said, well, yesterday it said it got there at 3 o'clock in the morning. And he goes, oh, uh, no, uh, well, it it's here, but uh, we just got it today. Yeah. There are things said 3 o'clock in the morning before. And then the second person he talked to, oh, you went through like 50 people. I went through like 50 people, and I finally got a hold of somebody. One lady, I, he just... I picked up the phone, and I told her, I said, somebody answered the telephone, and I said, uh, look, I'm trying to find out about a package that was supposed to be delivered yesterday and all. And I said, can you help me? And I'm going to give you, I'm going to, don't you listen. This is what I heard. I uh, yeah, we said, well, what is it we can? We can come up and we could do something for you, man. Just, I, I just screamed. I said, stop now. <laughs> I said, put somebody on this freaking telephone who can speak plain English. <laughs> and it just got quiet on the other end. And they started to speak again. I said, shut up now. <laughs> Give me somebody who can speak English. Plain, where I can understand it. And it wasn't just a second. Another gentleman come on the phone. And me and him sit, was able to carry on a conversation. But, and um, he actually told Danny, he says, oh, we just got it in this morning at 3 o'clock. And I'm like, uh, no, you didn't. You got it in yesterday morning at 3 o'clock. You're still lying. But he swore it would be here Monday. And Danny said, look, am I getting my stuff Monday? He said, yes, sir, you will get it Monday. Yeah. So we, we've had, oh, my goodness. Uh, what, Danny, what implements are you looking for for your Cub tractor? In, uh, right now, I'm looking for a 172 or a 174 planter to go underneath my Cub. And I'm looking for the planter hopper. And the the base for the planter hopper. I have all the gears and the chains and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have a video coming up about that, don't we? Or did we already put it up? It's coming up next week. It comes up next week. We we have a video coming uh, they're up. They're tired of cub videos. Just come. I put two up this week. I we know. Got one more we got next one week. more next week. But that's what I'm actually looking for right now for my uh, for my cub tractor. Um, a lot of people do the same thing. Somebody, yeah, everybody's saying the same thing. Well, it gets annoying when you're trying to talk to somebody. And two, our telephone service is horrible. If y'all think our internet service is bad, oh, you no. try talking on the phone. The telephone's horrible. I um, can hear you if you call me, but you won't hear me. About every three to four words, you get one word. Uh, Levi, um, I don't know if, I'm, if I had a belly mower for mine, I would use it. But... Um, it's not high on my list right now. I'm more or less trying to get stuff to garden with. Uh, that's my main things right now. Yeah. So, right now, he's he, that's what he's doing. But we're waiting on the stone. And yeah. then we'll be doing the fireplace in the cabin. And we he did get part of the bedroom wall done. That I got all the boards done last week. I uh, put a sealer on them. And somebody had asked about that. We put three coats of polyurethane. Uh, clear coat. Uh, it's like a gym floor finish. Okay. Something like that. Anyway, yeah. three coats on, on the walls. And I did that last week to the boards we had. And he got those put up this week. That's another project that he's been working on. Yeah. And um, 
Now we're ready to get more boards so we can finish the bedroom. We haven't gotten it finished can you, yet. Can you turn that fan on? It's just warm in here to me. Y'all, mark it down. Mark it down. I am hot right now. <laughs> you are hot. Woo! This never happens. Y'all, this is this is uh, a first and usually he's saying turn, turn the, the fan, fan off. off. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Abama Gardner says that she works in a call center at home and says, I, can, I can't tell you how many people say, oh, thank God I can understand you. I'm telling you, if I pick that phone up and I can't understand somebody, I will tell them immediately. Just give me somebody else right Josh now. Josh says he works for FedEx Express. We can't keep people working. I guess that's probably part of it. Um, but I'm telling y'all, the FedEx Freight was who I, he was talking to. And it was just... You know, I don't know. RB said, I seen a cub tractor with a sickle mower and other parts. Also, a small cedar was with it. I was going to the sale lot for this coming weekend sale. Man, I wish we, we don't have nothing like that around here. Uh, it, it just, it's so irritating. People where I live at don't even grow anything. I mean, we live in, we live in the deep south here and everybody's hooked on Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> um... All right, you're going to have to fix that. The wind's blowing it. Yeah. Put something on it. I'll, I'll, sip that I'll, speaker. I'll just that stapler on it right there. Yeah, I can't handle the wind blowing papers up and down. <laughs> this is my office that I work in, so stuff gets you know, everywhere. Uh, better check Danny for a fever one time. <laughs> Look, when I, go, when I get upset, things just change for me. I mean, I, I am... <laughs> oh, it's just... For the last two weeks, I explained this over on Patreon... For the last two weeks, I've had a rough two weeks with people. I don't <laughs> like, I normally don't like people at all, but I hate stupidity. I cannot deal with stupidity. Used to when I run my companies, if somebody on my job was stupid, I'd fire them that first day. You know, I can't, I just, I would fire them right there. I'd, I'd write their check for how many hours they've been on the job and send them home. You know, I just, that's just the way I was. Uh, Levi said, I found a farm all cub loader. Wow. See, we have, we have nothing like that here. I found out recently that woodchucks can't chuck wood. <laughs> it's it's a, a trick, trick question. <laughs> oh, aye, aye. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Jennifer said, you and me both, Daddy. Do I remember hooked on phonics? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I remember that. Okay, I found I can't um, um, well, we ain't talking about politics. Too you too should watch much. Out of Goshen. We know Out of Goshen. They've been to our house before here. Yes. Said their carrier refused to deliver their package no matter what the size. They go <laughs> in all the time and complain. Uh, I actually haven't seen their new home, to be honest with you. I don't no, know. No, they came here when we had a gathering. Yeah, they were here three, four years ago. I don't remember. It's been at least three, maybe four years ago. They came here and we got to spend just a few minutes. There were so many people we didn't get to talk to everybody, but we did get to talk to them for just a few minutes that day. Um, um, oh, Levi says he's in Moss Point, Mississippi. The driver, <laughs> the driver that delivered my stuff at eight o'clock at night the other night was from Moss Point, Mississippi. Levi Goss is, um, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, Jerusha's Levi. I think he's talking to somebody in Moss Point, Mississippi, about Moss Point, Mississippi. Oh, is he? Yeah. Levi, aren't you Jerusha's son? <laughs> it may be her son. That's what I'm saying. Levi yeah. is her son, I believe. Okay, the one maybe that does the drawings. The drawings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Look, we only got like 200,000 people to remember who they are. Yeah, and, and names go by the way. It, it just sometimes with Danny, they don't click real well. Hearsay Henderson said, how much for the quilt on the wall? It's not for sale. Miss Sally was in here that made the quilt when I when we first put up the thing, and she said she's made us um, pillow shams to match it. And I told her that as soon as Danny gets all the walls done in the cabin, this will go over to the um, cabin. Yeah. So, Christy says, I'm getting like my mama when she got old, just more outspoken. <laughs> uh, that's what's happened. Well, I'm not getting more outspoken. As a matter of fact, I've calmed down a lot. Um, I don't, uh, 
I don't lose my temper as bad as I used to. You know? All right, so, um, so somebody's asking, do you think raising beef on a small scale is worth the cost on a homestead? Uh, it, it, if you've got 10 acres or more of land, you can do it. But it, you're going to have to buy hay, I'm going to tell you. you. You're just going to have to buy hay. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't have the, the place to raise yeah. a lot of hay or corn. Or corn. That's, Feed, the that's, two that's our two drawbacks right yeah. now. Um, I suppose a question. How often do you have to use the bone sauce? Uh, I put it out like a month ago. And, uh, but we're going to put some out tonight because it's turned cool. And we worried that the deer is going to decide it's spunky time and they're going to be out running around and playing and but, stuff. But yeah, but and, some people say that they don't put it out but once every year. But I mean... But I ain't taking no chances. The uh, peas are too pretty. <laughs> but if it rains, we do put put it out again. But tonight, we're, we're not taking any chances. Yeah. I see. Jennifer yeah. said you've always been like that, but she says as an adult now I appreciate it, but as a kid not so much. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always been that way a little bit, um, but um, I am more mellow now that I'm older. I try to laugh more now, uh, even though the doctor told me that I could, I wasn't supposed to be laughing. Uh, I still do it, uh, even though I pay for it later. Yeah. I don't know if Miss Sally sells those quilts or not. I sent her a message because I had another lady and I gave her the lady's phone number and everything, and they talked. So I don't know if she sells them or not, to be honest with you. But if even if she had the pattern and she's willing to sell a pattern or something, would be great. But, I mean, Miss Sally would have to send me an email and let me know that. Uh, Josh says, will a fruit tree be okay if a deer eat on them? Uh, they'll come back out. It may take them a little while to come back out. Uh, maybe you're just going to cut them back a year or so on their growth, but they will usually make it back. I've got peach trees. As a matter of fact, the one you've seen in my videos this past summer, uh, there was a time the deer had took their horns and hooked those trees. And they, matter of fact, they bent them over and leaned them over, and the trees are still leaning. But they still, you know, after a while, they still bore peaches. All right, um, Vicky said, everybody, thumbs up. Help Danny and Wanda battle the Al Gore. Never had or will have any rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Vicky. Yeah, that quilt is a work of love. She did a fine job, and it has uh, all kinds of different vegetables in the jars. It has candy corn. It has pretzels. It has different types of uh, nuts, like peanuts and stuff in it. Uh, different kinds of candies. It, I mean, it, blueberries. I don't remember what all squash. Yeah, Nathan says cherries. you. Nathan says you can't win an argument with a jack angle, ankle. I don't care if I win the argument. <laughs> That's never been a problem with me. I don't care if I win an argument or not. I do choose my battles wisely, but I just gonna say what I think, and that's um, you know. Uh, let's see here, Danny. What will you be planting next outside of the high tunnels, if anything? Well, right now, we've got our Red Ripper peas planted. I just planted a Siberian Dwarf Kale in the gardens. I have planted, uh, what else we got planted? Carrots. We just planted our carrots here a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They're up, what, half an inch high. The onions. The onions. We got some onions planted. Uh, uh, rutabaga. Oh, well, the rutabagas in there. The rutabagas are inside the hot tunnel. That's uh, right. Uh, we're going to be planting some winter stuff, but they're going in the high. A lot of stuff's going in the high tunnels because of the insects. Yeah. It stays hot so long. And Danny puts um, hardware cloth around the ours. Even when we let the sides up, there's hardware cloth there so that insects can't go through. We do leave the doors open some at, during the day, but at night, there's always the doors are shut, the hardware cloths there. Things can't go in at night. Uh, does the bone sauce keep squirrels away? No. I see squirrels out there all the time. Don't keep them away. What's your thoughts on rabbits for meat on a small acre, acreage? Uh, rabbits are great. As a matter of fact, two rabbits will produce 90 pounds of meat a year. Uh, so, I mean, if that helps you out any. Uh, J.L. Murphy says it takes too much land to raise your own beef. Uh, 
We got 10 acres and we raise our own beef. I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, Is it too late to plant English peas in zone 8B? No, I'm No, matter plant. of fact, we're fixing to plant some this week, as a matter of fact. And, y'all, I, I can't tell you, not a real farm, Jen and I have been talking. I swear, she's in Canada. But she plants the same stuff we do, and her soil, everything is so similar. And she's planting Siberian dwarf kale, yeah. too. <laughs> Danny, what kind of onions do you prefer? Well, if, if, if I'm wanting green onions, I prefer the old-fashioned multiplying onions. And um, if I'm growing bulb onions, I prefer the Texas Legend or the Sweet Savannah. Uh, and it depends on where... Uh, uh, depends on where you live at, whether you are day neutral, short day, or long day. Uh, Mr. John says, hoping the Jadam insecticide, insecticide, yeah. insecticide will work. Mr. John, it should. Um, we haven't, we, we haven't, haven't put any, up, we yeah. haven't mixed up our Jadam stuff yet. We haven't had a bad insect problem. I mean, not yet, but we're. Yeah. If it would cool off, we wouldn't. But we do use some. We haven't mixed up the the liquid yet. We wanted to get that started, but we're taking our leaves, same process, and putting them down yeah. and using them for for fuel for the. Well, we're putting the leaves back under the plants. Yeah. As long as they're not diseased bad or yeah. something other, or got insects on them. Yeah. Uh, we did on the four pepper plants I have across on by the cabin. Uh, I use a Jadam method over there. And I did notice this past week we had a couple of aphids on a couple of the leaves on the pepper plant, and I mm -hmm. took those leaves off and got rid of them, and I haven't had any more problems with that. But, but we do plan mm -hmm. on mixing some of the the. I, if y'all don't know what Jadam is, check it out on YouTube. Danny was going to do a I was going to do a whole series of videos on the Jadam. Uh, organic growing method that was I before just, he got the cub and started with no the i just cub. don't have time uh, i don't have <laughs> about time the same time yeah i don't have time to do it it's the time is too short guys um just watch the videos yeah as a matter of fact we're nearing uh, i gotta watch what i say um we are nearing a total collapse in this country and, and, and like i mentioned over on patreon I have only one responsibility in this world right now, and that's to this woman sitting right here. And my job as her husband is to make sure that it, should something happen, she doesn't have to worry that she's taken care of. And, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm, I'm busting my tail to make sure everything around here is taken care of and that we have ample supply of everything in case something happens. Uh, they're asking how your health is. He's done better in the last few weeks. Uh, he's had less issues, let's say, until the last couple of days, and then he had a little bit more going on. But for a while, he's kind of leveled out, done pretty good. So we're hoping. Yeah, I mean, my health is deteriorating. I'll just go ahead and say it. I mean... But he I, has good days and I bad days. I have good days and I have bad days. Um... But I still don't stop because I tell Wanda, I said, I can hurt in the house or I can hurt working. I can be drunk and dizzy sitting here in the house or I can be drunk and dizzy working. Uh, you know, I can be in pain sitting in here. I can be in pain working. So I just choose to work. Um, Jadam is J-A-D-A-M. Just one um, M. And it is on YouTube. You can order the books. But make sure if you order books, they are in English because it is a Korean... Yeah. Method Korean of method. Korean method of farming. Yeah. What is another name for Danny corn? There is no other name. It is my corn I created. You only can get it from me. Or somebody that um, might have grew it. <laughs> Danny, do you ever get white flies and how do you uh, deter them? Yes, we get them in the high tunnels occasionally and we use neem oil. That seems to be the best thing we found. Um, um, let's see here. I'm trying to, uh, guys, I'm not, I may not catch some of these questions. Levi asked a while ago, what do I think the winter is going to be like? I think this winter will probably be a pretty hard one uh, for the for the southern states. And actually, I hate to say this, but I uh, I keep, I, th I think, I, did I talk about this on Patreon, about the, where the weather line, about the 33rd parallel? Yeah, I, I, I hate to say it, but I talk about all that on Patreon. I don't talk about it over here because I don't want my channel to get pulled. If they pull Patreon, I don't care about that. 
but I just don't want this channel to get messed up. But I do talk about it over on Patreon. Um, For now, he's trying to walk a fine line on Patreon. Yeah. And when he has time, uh, this week, he just came in. He says, God's given me something I need to say. And he went and just talked. And when he did, I had watched a video that morning that somebody had sent me. Yeah, I hadn't even seen the video. He hadn't even seen the video. And when I did uh, the editing, I put the link to that video in the description. He didn't watch it till later that day. He come in and he said, what's this link you put here? I said, why did you put a link in here? And, and she I said, said, it explains everything you just said. Yeah. And he, he had no clue. I had no clue. But when God gives him something, he goes for it. And he just says whatever he, yeah. he's thinking. And so occasionally I will put a link over on Patreon, but I don't do it very often. Um, I guess okay, if I people start wanting me to, I will, but I haven't been doing Somebody it. Somebody asked, what is Danny corn? It's a corn that I created about 27 or 28 years ago now. It's a dent corn. Um, uh, somebody asked, uh, did y'all plant any fall, winter, or garlic yet? Yes, we have our uh, elephant garlics. All we plant anymore. We don't worry with these other garlics. Uh, what zone are we in? We are in zone 8B. Uh, if you um, a, a, B, C is right. If you want to know something, type it in and type Deep South Homestead. Like if you want to know how to grow green beans, put in green beans, Deep South Homestead. There should be something. How to can green beans, Deep South Homestead. Uh, we pretty much have a video on just about anything. Yeah. As a city dweller, how important a tool is a 12 gauge to a homestead such as yours, Mr. Danny? Uh, 12 gauges are fine. It's probably the one you can find the easiest ammunition for right now. Um, of course, I have tons of weapons, but uh, and 12 gauge is one of them. I have, I have, uh, well, I can't tell everything. I, I can't say what I do and what I don't. Uh, New York Redneck, if I if I don't forget it, I'll try to put it in the description or either in a pinned comment where y'all can watch it if y'all really want to. Um, it was just a guy, he's in Trinidad, and is he a... He's a doctor. Was he a doctor? And he's he, a doctor he was addressing from, the Trinidad. He was uh, the whatever they call it, Parliament or whatever they whatever have. Whatever they over have there. Yeah. over there, and he was very knowledgeable, very Christian, and uh, the last ten minutes are just—it's just amazing to me. Uh, how do you get rid of moles? They, there is a product out there, castor beans. Let me just say that. It's called Mole Away. It's made with castor beans, uh, and that would get rid of moles. Or chewing gum, any of that kind of stuff would get rid of moles. Um, uh, Jennifer said, says, Trey's going to be taking archery at school. Well, wow, I was an archery hunter my whole life until I tore this rotator cup. Uh, now, and now we have I, a crossbow. We have a crossbow now. <laughs> have we caught a bass in our pond yet? Uh Yes, we have caught Michelle bass. Michelle caught, caught, caught a real nice one. Uh, do we have a root cellar? Yes, we do. Actually, it's not really a root cellar. It is an underground living facility yeah. that uh, has a place we can go when a hurricane comes. Yeah. Subscribed. I need new teeth. <laughs> Wiggins ain't that far from me. <laughs> What a name. What a name. I guess they couldn't come up with anything else. So what is a reputable is seed company to buy from? Who do you trust? Uh, we only buy from Hoss Tool. If we buy seed, we'll buy from Hoss Tool or uh, High Mowing. High Mowing is one. High Mowing is one of them. Or uh, Kita, Or Kitazawa. Yeah. Kitazawa Seed Company. And uh, if you get anything from Hoss Tools, mention Deep South. And I don't remember if there's a discount or they send you extra seeds. I don't remember what the deal is, but tell them Deep South sent you. Yeah. Uh, B Lady must be in. Yeah, there she is. B Lady's in here. Hey, Miss hey, B. Ms. B. Hey, Miss B. Um, 
have you took anybody snipe hunting? Not, not in years <laughs> I haven't. I always put them at the end of a culvert with a croaker sack and tell them to wait here till the snipe comes to the I culvert. I tried to get you to take Billy Armadillo hunting. I know she tried to. I wanted him to take Billy Armadillo hunting, but it it backfired on me because he knew what an armadillo was yeah. like. He actually knew what one was, so. Kim says, when are you going to drag that crossbow out and make a video? Actually, we have videos up about the crossbow. We have a video up uh, on a deer hunt. We actually have a deer hunt. Now, is that on Patreon or is it on... It's you on YouTube. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, where I go hunting. Yeah, we, I and took Wanda hunting. that was hunting. the first crossbow. We have a second crossbow. We have crossbow, a second one now, And we yeah. did... I think you did a, like a review on it. Or maybe I'm... I don't remember. Maybe you didn't. I, I can't remember if I... I did do a review on the new one. I think you the did. The Whitetail Pro, I think. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's a Whitetail Pro. Yeah. Like I said... You want to know what Deep South has? Type it in and type. Just type Deep, Deep South Homestead and crossbow. Where, crossbow, and it should bring it up. You know. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no, I really need new teeth. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I think I planted my greens too thick. Will they make turnips? You'll have to thin them out. Uh, they need to be thinned out to about every two to four inches apart. What herb books for medicine do you recommend? Actually, Danny and I are going to do a video this next week, hopefully. Hopefully we get to uh, it. We're going to talk about our most used homestead books because we've had several people right. ask. And so we're going to take a variety of homestead books and herbs and essential oils will be some of them. And he will do the gardening and the butchering and animal husbandry and building and yeah. all that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, do we have bees? Uh, no, we don't have any bees. We used to have lots of bees, but we don't have any anymore. Um, M.I. Gardner has good seeds. Uh, Levi... Um, Gail says that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We've never used I've seeds. never used. I've never used Luke's uh, seeds. Um, I'm not sure Luke grows all of his own seeds, to be honest with you. He's a great guy. And he has a lot of good seeds up there. I know a lot of people who use his seeds. And uh, we uh, we sell our own seeds, so we don't buy seeds from anybody like that. So I don't know. Hoss uh, Tool is the only one we've been using. Hoss Tool is the only one we've been using. Uh, do you have puffball mushrooms? Yep, we have puffball mushrooms all over the place. <laughs> do you eat mustard or turnip greens? Both. Both. <laughs> and collards. And collards and, and kale, kale and you know, all of it. Some good cornbread from that corn that you ground. Yep. Danny, how is your brother? Uh, I went to visit him this past week, and he was doing really good. Uh, I did find out, though, that he got turned down on uh, the home that he was trying to get into to help him. So we still need to keep him in prayer that he can find a good home uh, to get into so that he has someone to take care of him. Uh uh, yeah, Allison found it. Deep South Homestead Barnett. Okay, the Barnett crossbow review is the old crossbow. It's not the new one that we have. Yeah, but you did one on both. I did one on both of them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Verna says, got your seeds today? I can't wait. Uh, Michigan seeds may not do well in South Mississippi. Vicky. yeah, that's why I said we don't buy Luke seeds because I don't think they would do well here. They're not acclimated for our heat down here. And neither would ours probably do that good up there. But except when a Danny corn grows anywhere in the country. We've sold it in Minnesota. And it still grew just as good in Minnesota as it did here. Robbie and Gary Gardening Easy says, We sometimes get seeds from ba Baker's Creek or Little, or from Ray the Little Seed Shop. Not heard okay. of Ray. Now, Baker's Creek, we've tried We've some. tried Baker's Creek here. They we didn't, don't have good luck with We that. don't have good luck with Baker's Creek here in the south. Um, I don't know if... Uh, it's not anything against them. It's just I don't think their seeds are acclimated for our area. It, it, it was to maybe the type seeds or something. I don't have a clue. But we just... We got maybe 50% germination rate with Baker's Creek. Do you recommend propane for off-grid cooking? Uh, yes. Uh propane or wood either one i prefer wood over propane uh but if propane is the best you can do then you know you definitely do propane over electric do you guys know how to start to finish 
grow white button mushrooms. Uh, I don't do mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms. I don't either. Uh, so, I mean, I know how to do it, but we don't, we don't do it. I mean, we just don't eat mushrooms. No. Uh, I take pictures of them sometimes. I used to. <laughs> That's about the extent of it. Do you have the link in the description for where they can get their seeds? Was it Hoss? Yes, Hoss Tools. Yeah. It is in the description. We have a long description. You just have to go through it. Uh, <clears throat> um, B Lady, it, it is, it's just called Hoss Tool Seed Company. It's in our description. If you mention Deep South, you actually get a free, used to you got a free pack of seeds. Somebody said they did. They got okay. free seeds when they ordered their onions. And they did, I did see they have onions. So if you're looking for long day or short day onions, as of yesterday, on they had them. I don't know if they sold out, but they did have them. Uh, do you have any Danny corn left? Not for sale. We are completely sold out. Is your Danny corn a sweet corn? No, it is a field corn. It is a dent corn. I created it for cattle feed and animal feed, chicken feed, and making cornbread, corn meal, corn grits. flour, grits. grits. All this kind of stuff. And matter of fact, we made some this what, about a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and I plan on doing a grits video using Danny Corn and the Hickory King. And the Hickory King, yeah. We have grits from both that he ground. And I hope to be able to do that. I just, we've had so much going on until I've not made, I've not taken the time. Let's put that. I'm canning sweet potatoes. And if y'all don't know, it takes an hour and a half to can sweet potatoes. And I've been doing two canners a day when I'm doing it. Most days. Some days only to get one done if we run to town or something. So at least, what, three to four days a week I've been canning sweet potatoes. Yeah. Danny, you look very tired. If you only knew, David, just how mm -hmm. tired I really am. Plus he took a nap. I took a nap about a, what, a hour, hour? About an hour nap right before we did this video because I had to. I was just, I was wore slam out. Do you think you're going to be a shortage of garden seeds this year? Yes, I do believe there will be. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you need garden seeds, you better get them now. We have some on our Etsy store. We're probably sold out right now. But we we got are to, sold out. But we'll be putting up some more maybe next week. We we'll have to see. Wanda's sold out. <laughs> Wanda is sold out. We have been to the post office with so many things until it's... Uh, last weekend, I put up everything we had counted out. And in less than 24 hours, I almost sold out. And I thought we were going to the mail Monday. So I spent all day Sunday placing orders, fixing orders and stuff. Got up, went to the post office, and guess what? It was a holiday. It was a holiday. And I would have had all day Monday. I busted it on Sunday trying to get everybody's stuff done. And if y'all don't think Etsy's a big deal... Man, it, it can be. It's a job in itself. So. If times get hard, would you continue with pigs and hogs? Uh, yes, because it provides our lard that we need to be able to cook with. Um, and it provides, you know, our bacon our, and stuff like this. Yeah. I mean, I, we would do it. I would do pigs at least. Um, Probably we do two, every two years, basically. Yeah, we do two pigs every two years. That pro two pigs provide us with enough lard to last for two years. Yeah. And then the meat, because we don't eat pork every day. I mean, we maybe once a week. And we've been out of pork for several months, but we've had the beef to fill in and chicken. And we did rabbits for a while. We had rabbit meat for years. I mean, we just ran out of rabbit like a year and a half or so ago and we haven't done rabbits in more than two years and uh, we might do rabbits again one day but we've got to have our whole place set up because rabbits you have to clean religiously yeah or else you got a mess but rabbits good for fertilized too yeah how's a worm farm coming we started one uh, Marie says uh, the worms are doing great as a matter of fact I have two bins now I have two different types of worms. I have the uh, ones for fishing, and then I have the ones for composting, and both of them are doing really good. Now, we're fixing to have to do something with them when it's turning cold. Yeah, we are. Uh, um, 
When we can How, lard, it lasts about, well, what we're working on now is uh, two years it's old. It's two years old and it's still uh, good. It's in jars and we do have a video on how we did it. We probably got a couple of videos on it, but I know we, we at least have one. And this has been the longest we've had lard because we did two cat, uh, two pigs at one time. So we yeah. had a lot of lard and we sat and cooked it out for days. We rendered lard for a while. I mean, because it's, yeah. it's a very slow process to render lard. And then there's three different kinds of lard on a hog, so you got to know which one you're rendering, and you can't let it get too hot, you can't scorch it. I mean, you've got your pastry lard, your fat back, and then you've got the, the uh, uh, your around the bacon side, you know, lard from that area there. And, you know, it's you just got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Levi says, do I, think, do, I, do I think it will snow this year? There's a good possibility that the early part of next year it will snow. I've never canned beef suet. No, nope, we never but have. I have canned beef. I can it ground beef. I've canned um, just beef strips and stew meat. I've Somebody asked a while ago, how, do you, how would we deter squirrels? Uh, <laughs> Is we deter them with a gun. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. There was one day here, I oh. killed I killed forty something squirrels here in one day just because they pissed me off. They were eating everything we had. Yeah. And he didn't even make a den in them, y'all. So if no, I didn't feel even, sorry for them. Don't I'm feel sorry for them. I went outside. They were eating my peaches. They were. I mean, every they were toting off everything we had. And I told one day, I said, if I see a squirrel. I don't care where he's at on the property. He's dying. He's guilty. He's guilty of by association. And I think I killed, well, I told you, 47 or something that day. I don't and, remember, but they just uh, stayed outside all day. And I didn't care. It was during the summertime. I just left them laying where they were at. I said, I'll let the hawks and the owls and the cats and the possums and the coons eat them. I mean, I don't care. And you can't tell I shot nothing here. They're still everywhere. All right, Lisa wants to know, do we have a video showing how to get the lard from the butchered pig? Uh, we take ours to our local butcher. We have a friend that does that. And we do our own a lot of times. Though. Well, I we mean, hadn't. These came these from two, Julie. These two, we were too busy building the yeah. cabin to actually butcher them ourselves. So I took them to my friend's slaughterhouse, and she mm -hmm. actually butchered them. And I told her to take all my lard, separate it out for me. And put it in a bag, and, and she but did. But we hadn't showed that the three different types. Yes, I talked about it in the video. You talked, you showed it, but we, it, we didn't show how I haven't to showed take it out. What she's I, asking. Have I done a video on butchering a pig? I don't think so. No, because we was afraid to take it down. I mean, yeah. we have uh, one on deer over on Patreon. I think it's still on YouTube, maybe. So we have a few on YouTube, but I put most of them over on Patreon because they got to taking things down. Explain the difference between pigs and hogs. <laughs> I don't know. There is no difference. A pig is a small animal. A hog is the big fat. I yeah. don't know. I mean, they go from a pig to a hog. That's the way I look at it. If you have a ton of squirrels, might be you are low Look, on your natural, natural predators. We are low on our natural predators. I kill anything that walks here. <laughs> if it's a fox, it dies. If it's a coon, it dies. If it's a possum, it dies. If it's a coyote, it dies. If it doesn't belong to me and it's doing damage on my property, it dies. I mean, I hate to say that and I hate to be that blunt, uh, but you can ask Wanda. I shoot everything. If a deer gets in my garden and starts eating my garden, and, and I can't get rid of him in a couple of days, I shoot him also. I mean, uh, but right now, the bone sauce that we got from Billy, it, we have not had a coon, we've not had a possum, we've not had a fox, we've not even had a rabbit, we've not had a deer. One deer walked in once after a rain, well, like a week of rain. Yeah, like a week of rain. Walked right out into the garden, nibbled like four or five plants, and left and walked with a cat. With a house cat. With a yeah. house cat. No, I don't and, know, y'all. That's just that. That's funny. But the house cat walked in the same pattern where the deer went, and I told Danny our deer had a house cat. Yeah. <laughs> can white sweet potatoes be grown in six B? Yes, they can. Uh, but you'll have to be. You'll have to start the slips indoors ahead of time, in order to get them in the ground. 
and have enough growing time. Wasn't Billy doing a hog killing video? Yeah. Okay, Perma Pastures just put up a how to do the pig. How I to think, dress yesterday. one. Not, on, on his Patreon, he shows how to kill a, a sheep and butcher a sheep mm -hmm. and how to kill a hog and butcher a hog. So Perma Pastures Farm. Yeah, Perma Pastures Farm. Check what kind out. of greens do y'all can? Any of them. Turnip greens, mustard, kale, collards, we can them all. I don't do um, cabbage, though. Cabbage gets yucky. Blech. Jody says, I see a deer right now. <laughs> what does it cost to process a pig? What we spend, about $120? Maybe. It's not now that's bad. To, that's to smoke it, cure the hams. That was the whole nine yards. Now, we did our own smoking. We did our own bacon. We did our own bacon, yeah. but she did the hams because we didn't have the thing to pump the hams. Uh, yeah. Can you make fermented sweet potato hog feed using the entire plant? Probably. Yeah. You can ferment anything pretty much for a hog and they will eat it. Believe me. All you got to do is let it set out for a day. They'll go for it. Do we shoot our own hog or do we bolt them? I shoot them. Uh, Have I, don't... I ever made mush? No. I don't guess. No, we, we, Jennifer, we've never made mush. I've heard of it. I just don't. I'd have to look it up. I'm not sure. I could probably. It, I, it's just kind of like grits, but it's with cornmeal, I think. Do we eat coon meat? No. We have a neighbor that used to. Every one I killed, he would come and get. He was a young young guy. Yeah. I've stuck a pig before, but didn't get to stay for the rest. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Now they put Billy's link up there. If you're interested in the bone sauce, you can go to his link or his website might and even be better. how to butcher a pig. That's the how to butcher a pig. Yeah. Josh says his hogs was 70 cents a pound hanging weight. I think Julie's is 90 cents. I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, Let's see. Mr. Danny, how can the Colorado River drying up affect us in Arkansas? Sorry, it's not a good question. It's just that people acting like it means nothing, and I think it will be bad for everyone. I don't know unless they start pumping some of y'all's water out there to these people or something when the river dries up or something. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. Uh, Vicky says Billy does have a complete video on the breakdown of a pig carcass, the yeah. recent one. I was thinking he, he showed a good bit of it. Mush is a family favorite for our Wisconsin family. I'm thinking mush, mush I think you use cornmeal to make it, am I right? Um, instead of grits. Uh, yeah, mush is grits to the northern states. Okay, so we make grits, and it's basically the same thing. Ours is probably the, the pieces of corn are a little bit bigger than mush, um, but it's the same, it's basically the same thing. You can add butter, you can add syrup, you can, you can sweeten it or you can leave it buttery. Uh, Kim says, do y'all have wild hogs there? Not where we live at, I've killed them all out. I mean, I went on a killing spree here about 20 years ago and we don't have any hogs, we don't have any coyote problems. I mean, I've shot just about everything. How do we preserve grapes? We squeeze the juice and freeze the juice. And that's one of the things I think that's been helping Danny. Uh, we had a lot of our muscadine and scuppernong juice in the freezer. And um, when he got to feeling really bad last month, I just started making him drink more <sighs> of it. And he, he drank some every day yeah. for about three weeks. Yeah. And between that and what was the other one? I'm eating a lot of blueberries. Yeah, he started doing the blueberries, and yeah. um, there was something else you did that was a little different. All of it together, I think, kind of healed his stomach and helped somewhat, and it's made a difference. Um, <clears throat> I fry leftover oatmeal like you do mush. Um, no, yeah. yeah. Grits are one of my comfort foods. I, under, I agree, Christy. I love cornbread. I mean, I love all of it. But I could eat grits 
If I just, if Danny and I, if I didn't have to cook all the time for Danny, I would go in there and fix grits for supper. I'd fix them for lunch. I can fix them for breakfast. It don't matter. I can, I can have grits all day long. I'm a, I'm a big grits person. Uh, so I want to know, what have you made in the freeze dryer here lately? You did uh, peppers and... Well, I did a video a couple of days ago on Crazy Days. Um, if you don't know, I have a channel called Crazy Days, D-A-Z-E-S, and I showed the sweet potatoes. Uh, Danny's reaction to the sweet potatoes was amazing. Um, I boiled the sweet potatoes down, then I turned them into a uh, mashed sweet potato, put it on my trays and freeze dried them, and it was really amazing. Uh, Vicky wants to know, can muscadines or scuppernines be grown in 6B? I don't know, Vicky. That's that's kind of far north for muscadines and scuppernongs. Uh, I, I would be afraid to tell you yes or no on that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, we passed our time here. Yeah. I did can a you... video on uh, crock see. pot oat, oatmeal. I think it's on Crazy Days. I can't remember, but it's called crock pot oatmeal. And I, I did that with the steel cut oats. And I cut it up in slices once it got um, formed. And I put it in Ziploc bags and froze it in the freezer. And I take that out. And then I have oatmeal whenever I want it from that. that. That's a way to make a lot of oatmeal at one time. What is our favorite seeds to buy from Hall's Tools? Uh, we don't have a favorite seed to buy from anybody. The only time we ever buy a seed is if we just completely run out. Uh, I think this year we bought carrot seeds. We bought the uh, uh, Corotta carrot seeds from Hall's Tool. Some onion seeds. And a couple of uh, packs of onion seeds. Those are things because those are biennials and biennials don't do good here in the south so we have to buy those and we usually buy in large quantities as a matter of fact we had to uh we couldn't even get a large quantity from Hall's too we had to order them from somewhere else uh what the siberian kale oh i don't remember the name of it but yeah i i put a picture up on facebook um instagram of of the siberian kale um high seed mowing was that it yeah high seed mowing is where we got our uh, might, where we got our kale from and, and it might not be but i don't know that's just the name that come to my mind um i also freeze dried yogurt i do that quite about once every couple of months i take and freeze dry some yogurt and put it up yogurt is really good rehydrated it tastes just like yogurt guys it's really really good oh uh, Country on Stead Preachers said they have muscadines and scuppernogs on their new property. And they really? are amazing. Okay, that's good to know. Um, let's see here. Or am I going hunting this year? It depends on if the deer come back in. Um, will we have any Star of David okra seeds for sale? We've had Star of David okra seeds for sale. Are we sold out of them? Um, do you have more? I have a few more I probably could put up. Uh, we might be able to put some more up, but it'll be a day or two because we've got to go back through and see what's left, and I've got to finish packing everything, and once we get through, then we'll see if we have any more. Um, everybody, Tammy said, making me hungry. It's prayer request time. Yes, uh, we do need to um, put up our prayer request. Wanda and I still have, believe it or not, we still have things to do tonight. We gotta go put out bone sauce. We gotta go put out bone sauce and all that. <coughs> if the deer's gonna be out there, they're probably out there now. So. Oh, I did want to mention a couple of things. One of them was the podcast. If you guys haven't listened to Danny's podcast, um, go over to well in the description. I put the Libsyn link. You can just click it and go and listen, or you can download it on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, Hello, Miss Sharon. There's a whole bunch of places you can go and download and listen to Danny's podcast. And we're just trying to get that started and get it up and running because he kind of enjoys that when he takes the time to uh, just when I'm chill. When I'm in the right mood and the right frame of mind, I love doing a podcast. Uh, I really do. Yeah. 
And then the yes, other we have Amish paste tomatoes on Etsy whenever well, we, but we have to, we may be out right now, but we have more to put up. Yeah. And the other thing is November 1st, Danny's daughter Jennifer is in here with us. I'm doing another Pampered Chef party on Facebook. And Jennifer is a Pampered Chef consultant. And we have a lot of fun for a few days. She has all kinds of games and stuff she plays and gives out little gifts. And we're going to have some prizes and all kinds of stuff and fun and learn how to use Pampered Chef. So I will be letting y'all know more on that by November 1st. Yes, it is called Deep South Homestead on iTunes. Yeah. We're on Spotify, iTunes, and what about eight or ten other different platforms? Yeah, there's a, almost anywhere that um, you that you can listen to a podcast. We're on Odyssey. There's a lot of them, and we have had some um, people ask for prayer requests. Several ladies that I've had, and one gentleman, he asked for his lady friend for had COVID. So we do want to remember these people. And as far as I know, all of them have been getting better this week. Let's see here. Uh, the days we do podcast usually is Monday and Friday. This past Monday, I, he did not do one, but I did put one up Friday. Friday is Flashback Friday, and it's usually a porch time that he's done in the past. Yes, it's a, it was a very popular porch time usually that I do. Do we supplement anything for wheat? We yes. use we use Ekron right now, or einkorn. I keep saying Ekron. It's einkorn wheat. Einkorn. We do have um, almond flour. I have I have a variety of flours, y'all. I have flour made of almost anything. We, we have, I have anything it. from corn flour to whatever. Chestnuts. Chest, I've got yeah. I've got all kinds of flour. Yeah. It's made. I've got flour out of anything, just about it. Shooting at the clouds, if you don't know what COVID is, you're in trouble. Do what? <laughs> you're in trouble, my friends. Yeah. You, you've not even been in society for the last two or three years is all I can say. Okay. All right. So we're, right. we're going to have yeah, prayer. We're and... going to have prayer where we can... Let some of these people get to bed, including us, in a little while after we go out in the gardens and put out bone sauce. <laughs> if the deer's not out there already. <laughs> and then we're going to the cabin and just chill. Yeah. Father, we thank you so much for being good to us tonight. Thank you for our uh, for our live chat tonight, Lord. Thank you for all the people. They've been so kind and so generous. And Lord, thank you for all those that donated. We really appreciate that. And pray that you'll bless their lives for having blessed ours. And Lord, there's many people here tonight that has prayer requests. Father, I saw people in the ER, people with COVID, uh, people with all kinds of anxiety, depression issues, Lord. Father, it's it's some we're living in some tumultuous times right now. It's a time that... Uh, spoken of in Matthew and Revelations and, and Daniel and Ezekiel and Father that it's it's unsettling to be honest with you but as long as you know your destination Father it's also exciting times so Lord for those with all the physical issues and the uh, the mental issues and different things Lord I pray for healing for them Father mm -hmm. All right. and Father I pray that they can find peace and joy and harmony for their life in the midst of all this turmoil that we live in. Our country's un undergoing some tremendous uh, problems right now. Uh, I've spoken many times how I believe that your hand has been lifted off of this nation and your protective hand. And, but I do believe your protective hand is still over your people in this nation. And Lord, I pray for your people of this nation, Lord. The ones in the chat tonight, Father, I pray for them. I pray for their financial side. I pray for their physical side, their emotional side, their financial side, Lord. All these things are things that our, that your people and the people in this chat need tonight, Father. And I pray that we can, uh, that we'll be obedient where we can have the blessings of obedience granted to us. And I pray for our financial resources, Lord, that they might increase so that in these uncertain times that we're living in, we'll all have ample income 
to be able to afford the things in life. Now, not necessarily our desires or our wants, but Father, our needs. That is what you promised us. You promised us food, shelter, and clothing if we're obedient to you. And Lord, I believe you will grant that if we're just obedient. And I pray tonight that we'll be more obedient, Lord. And you said in Samuel, it's better to be obedient than it is to sacrifice, Father. So obedience is number one for our lives tonight. And Father, for those that are obedient, I pray that you grant them the blessings of obedience, Father. And Lord, go with us all tonight. And uh, I, I do, I pray not so much for the country as I do for the removal of those that are evil in this country. Father, I pray right now that all the states would join together and fight against the things that have come up against this country that are evil and that uh, true leadership can be put back into place in this country. And I pray that tonight, Lord. You said that if we pray for it, you'll grant it to us. And Father, I'm believing that it can happen, that we can have uh, the right people back in power again. Uh, but if it's that point in history and in time where these things must come to pass, as spoken of in Matthew 24, then Lord, grant us grace to be able to, to, to live through them. And Father, I pray for our children and I pray for our grandchildren as they face an evil country and an evil world that lies ahead of them, Father. Go with us throughout the night. Bless us. Take care of us, Lord. And most of all, Father, forgive us for we failed you and the kingdom of heaven. We ask these things in thy name. Amen. Oh, one other thing, because we've got a lot of people here from Mississippi. Yeah. Um, I got something today from, I think it was an email from somebody in Mississippi. Everybody needs to message Governor Tate Reeves. Uh, they said if you do message him, tell him to call a special session. The only way we can get this man thing done, that date thing, is uh, or undone is get to have, undone. have him call special session and we have people ready to go and testify they said if the people of Mississippi will stand up and call Tate Reeves or email either one you either email him or call him or something or let him know you're against the man man and date <laughs> uh, that has been imposed by our supreme leader right now, shall I say. <laughs> that sounds like somebody from outer space. I can't help it, but I have to do what I have to do. Uh, so, guys, go check go check Patreon out. I'm not, I'm not saying it because of a, it's a $3 tier for a month. You'll, you'll spend more than that on Coca-Cola's. Just go check it out because over there I talk plainly and bluntly about what's going on uh, to the best of my ability. Now, I can't say everything over there, but I did get a little bit more vocal over there than I do over here. Um, and if you don't like it, hey, you don't have to stay there, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but the deal is there's more than just Mississippi that's got things going on. Uh, what was the... the Senator from Arizona. Yeah, the senator from Arizona today. Or it was a uh, couple of days ago. A couple she of had days a, ago, had a has a video out urging where well, they found out in, that they had fraudulent elections, and they're urging all the other states now, all 50 states, to go back and to relook at everything, and to realize that um, there's been a lot of fraudulent stuff that's going on. And that's, that's not me. Now, that's them. I think she said they had 40 senators and representatives already signed the petition. And they're looking to have something done with that. So, you know, if these people, if you agree with them, then you guys need to help back them. And just like our governor, if you think this man thing needs to be redone or thought about, you need to contact the governor. Yeah. All it takes is just a few minutes, a phone call, or an email. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, let's go, Brandon. Yep, I already, I already know what that is. Um, yeah, well, that's popping up everywhere. Um, somebody okay. said, hit the like button. We're less than 44 away from 500. Make us hit 500, guys. That would be yeah. awesome. 
Um, yeah, we have. Um, I, I can't say too. I'm, I, I got to stop. <laughs> I want to say something. I've got to stop. We got to get out of here. Okay. <laughs> we got. We got to get out of here. Um, guys, we will see you all um, in the next video. And y'all have a wonderful and a blessed evening before I get myself in, in, in trouble here and uh, say more than I should say. So thank you all. We love you and we appreciate each and every